We got this stupid bugger out. Yeah, don't be a hack, bro. All that time I wasted trying to get the the headlight out. I removed. I had to remove the battery for more access. Now I'm able to put the 9006 in the correct location, which is right here. The 9005 go right there. I had them backwards. I don't know how it worked. For some reason, it worked. But you too. What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'll be unboxing this Oxylam LED headlights. The one I got is 9006 white LED bulb. So basically, I'm gonna be replacing these my high beams not high beams but low beams like when i flip on my headlights at night these come on this right here in the turn signal so i'm gonna be replacing those i'm replacing them because mines are way too bright i'll show you guys it in a little bit in the video i'll show you guys a couple it's gonna be in the video the clips are gonna be in the video just keep watching but yeah shout out to oxylam bro they're actually the sponsor of today's video they gave me this product the review that you guys know Go on their website, go check it out. I'll pop up their website right here on the screen. Go check it out. Code FB220, you get 20% off their whole entire website. But yeah, let me get y'all on the, let me get y'all set up on the head cam for the POV. And yeah, let's get into installing these. All right, bro. So yeah, let's get into unboxing it and I'll show you guys exactly what's going on with these headlights. And to show you guys that I did get a 9006, here it is right here. 9006 headlights slash 9006 slash hd hb4 that's basically what my car uses for low beams those those are those are what i'm replacing and i got my headlights in wrong from the previous video the video that i did my headlights and taillights installation i have them like backwards so i have to swap them around but quick manual will tell you how to do it i mean it's pretty simple it's just turn in them basically and connecting your connector but yeah if you guys are in the market for led headlights i would definitely give them a try uh, you guys will see how the headlights turn out in the video just keep watching the video like the video if you like it so far but yeah i mean put i'm putting these on for the precaution of like not like shortening the life basically all right i wasn't sure if the camera caught it but when i was unboxing it so they came with gloves the repair manual hopefully it's catching it now but yeah these are pretty nice. They, they, as you can see right here, they have like a little fan to cool the headlights down if they get too hot. But yeah, 9006 if you guys are able to see that. But yeah. You're not supposed to like touch this part by hand. That's why they pretty provide the glove because if you touch it by hand, it'll shorten the life of the headlights basically. All right, I got you guys on uh, two different angles. I'm right here, y'all are watching this from the GoPro. No cameraman gang, but yeah, let's get it, bro. Let's get into it. Let's get it started. Yeah, let's get it started, bro. So I'm gonna take out my old ones. This one, it really isn't in there, all of that. But yeah. Luckily, I have small hands, so it's a bit more helpful I'm trying to get out these headlights. But yeah, this I'm trying to get out this one right there. Oh, it's already coming out. It really wasn't in there all that properly. I do have even LED headlights, but I'm changing them because they're way too bright. Like I said, I'll show you guys why I'm changing them. You guys will see. Just stay tuned and keep watching. But, but this should be 9006 right here. I hope it's 9000. Yeah, this one's 9006. So this one's good. It's just that the other one over there is 9005. Like this one right here is 9005. But yeah, yeah let me go ahead and pop this out. This is my old one, 9006. Here. All right, gloves on. Let's pop this headlight in. And one, look at this. Look at the difference. You don't have a bunch of accessories. Like, look. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is a yeah. I had literally had to hide all this, but Oxylam. They think you know they're nice quality. So yeah. Boom. Clips in just like that. Now it's time. I think I should put it in first and then connect the connector. I think that would be a smarter decision. But yeah, guys, it's all the way down in here. But yeah. My battery is literally in the way. It's so kind of rigged. But like I said, I got small hands, so I'll make it work. Come on. So literally, you just line up the connectors. The three, let me see if I go down. Just line up the three holes around the headlight. From the inside and then you turn them in and it should be in like that like see how it is facing up now 
it should be in like that. But yeah, that's what I gotta do right now. This would have been helpful if I had brought one of my lights from work. But I didn't think it up. A few minutes later, fighting with it, I got it because this one that's supposed to be here got stuck. But I was able to get it in there and where it should be, which is right here. Let me give you some light real quick. Right there, there it is. Got the headlight in, tucked in. It's in there correctly. Now it's to get this one back in there, the one that I just abused. Hopefully it works with me. I mean, it should be fine. But yeah, I mean, show y'all me plugging in this one. It, li it's, it literally should just go in there and turn like this easy. Like, it shouldn't be fighting me like this easy. Well, that's kind of off centered, but there we go. There we go. There we go, bud. Now it's straight. There we go. Kind of just gotta play around with stuff a little bit. It's in there. Not the tightest fit, but it's in there. It shouldn't fall out or anything. All right. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just hope for the best, bro. All right, me connect back to all the connectors and reconnect the battery and move on to the next side. The oxy lamp is right here for my high beam, well, low beam. This is dead ass like a 30 minute job that turned into a two hour job. <laughs> if you work on cars, you know, you know, you know. All right, you guys, right now, it's currently the next day. I'm trying to get out this headlight clip that wouldn't come out. I'll show you guys it. Basically, this bastard right there. That thing right there. So, my game plan is to pull out the headlight, pull off the bumper because the space is very minimal. Pull off half the bumper and then loosen the screws for the headlight. And then I should be able to have enough access to pull it out to get to the get to the dilated clip that's holding in for the old one, but yeah. I, I had to take the bumper off to get to this for more access, so the bumper's off, but yeah. Let me get to if I get the headlight out far enough to pull out the bracket complete. There we go. Look at that. Come on, come on. All right, now we have enough space to get this bugger out. Look at it. <laughs> Slow bastard. Let me see if I can get the oxy lamb in there. Still got it right here. I know I said earlier in the video you shouldn't be touching this bare hand, but I'm not touching directly. Like the LED directly. I'm just holding it. Should go in like butter. Should keyword. There we go, look at us. And then you should just turn in. There you go, boom. Boom! We're finally completed. Well, 75%. Still gotta slap the bumper back on. But this one's in, and that one's in. Shout out to Oxylam. There you go, boom. And I didn't know Oxylam had a uh, twin pack where you could get 9005 and 9006. I should've just did that, but I didn't know. Sorry. Right. All right, so now it's just reassembling this headlight. Let me drop this bumper back on. Clip back all these clips, put back the screws for the side, and yeah. I gotta show you guys what it looked like tonight. Guys, literally because my uh, headlights got stuck in the bracket, that's literally the whole reason. Me having to have to do this. Right. Proof you could put a bumper on by yourself. Proof in the puddings right here. Just gotta make sure that's clipped over like that. Same thing on this side. And then boom. Ta da. There you guys have it. The Oxylam LED headlights are installed. These are the old one that gave me a fight, literally. 
because I had them in wrong. So if you learn anything from this video, bro, if the headlight, if like the headlight bulb, I keep saying headlight, but if the LED headlight bulb is not going in correctly, it's chances are it's probably not going in the right location. Try swapping them around, it'll go in way easier. I wasted a bunch of time. Luckily, I did this on the weekend, so I have time to correct my mistake. But if this was like in the weekday, oh shit, I would have been panicking. All right, boys, this is how the headlights looking in from the inside of the car. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a, I'm gonna show y'all it from the outside. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of it so far though. I kind of low-key like this style over my other LED headlights. That's the Oxylam LED in it right now. Looks pretty good to me. Shout out to Oxylam, man. Appreciate you guys for the sponsor. I ain't gonna lie, first ever sponsored the video. Many more to come, but yeah. I were able to see it. I'm gonna show you guys it a little bit more when it get darker. All right, you guys, so this time I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video. Shout out, shout out to Oxyland, man. I appreciate the sponsor. I appreciate everybody, and thanks for watching.